Yeah, this is a real important type of question. So, uh, how would we? What calculations should we do here now? Any, any thoughts? Um. There was an equation we used today that I you, I've like you, never seen a problem like this, you, so I was very confused. You do the percent yes. abundance times the isotopic mass plus the percent of abundance times the other isotopic mass. Mm -hmm. You just add them. Equals, equals one. However many grams per liter. No, equals oh. one of these. So four point two nine zero over a hundred because it's percent times one twelve point nine zero four plus nine. 95.71 over 100 times 114.904 equals. Oh, that is way easier than the one we did yeah. today. Yeah, the one we did today like, was like. Well, because the, the answer was like, there is no answer. I got 114. Point eight one eight, which is choice E. Now this is not an equation you should have to look up. This is just kind of common sense. What did you get? When I did this calculation, I got 114.8 grams. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I just didn't change the percent. Yeah, so your calculator doesn't know from percents, it only knows decimals. So you got to translate everything into decimals. That's a good point. I got some huge decimals. Notice that doesn't the answer have to be between 112.9 yeah, and 114.9? Yeah. So all we're doing here is we're taking a weighted average. We're just taking a weighted average. We shouldn't need any fancy formulas for this problem. Right. We, we know that 4% um, yeah, of all the indium has this mass, and 95% has this mass. So the average mass is just a weighted average of those two things. Okay. It's just like, suppose that in a quarter of your classes you got Bs, and in three quarters of your classes you got As. How would you figure out your GPA? Right. It would be one quarter times three plus three quarters times four. It's not really a very fancy formula. Right. 